The acquittal of the former governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzokalu, has continued to generate reactions nationwide. Some legal practitioners who spoke with Plus TV Africa urged the legislative arm of government to learn from the case which has set a judicial precedent and work more with other arms of government in enacting laws that would test the scrutiny of the court. Our correspondent, Edong Joseph, tells us more. For the embattled former governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzokalu, as a seven-man panel of the Supreme Court set aside his conviction and the judgment of Justice Mohammed Idris of the Lagos High Court for lack of jurisdiction to hear the case. The trial, which lasted more than a decade and was concluded in December 2019, saw the former governor, his company Slock Nigerian Limited, and his director of finance while in the helm of affairs of Abia State, Jones Odiego all convicted for money laundry to the tune of over 7.6 billion naira. However, in a landmark judgment and one which is said to rattle the halls of several courtrooms, some legal practitioners have lauded the decision of the Supreme Court saying, lessons learned from the case should not be taken for granted. People should be worried that this thing is happening. Yes, it's a setback to the fight against uh, corruption. But it is a more reason for us to what? sit down and take our job seriously. Whoever we are, we should always take our role very seriously. And we should always what? pay attention to the Constitution. It's actually a very good development because in two ways. Number one, it's going to ensure that uh, proper fair hearing is given to the man who has been accused of corruption and secondly it's going to help the development of our law. It's a plus for democracy. If our systems were ordinarily functioning like this, it, it would be nice when you really don't know what the courts will say. You understand? You can't take it for granted that you know what the Supreme Court will say. Despite the independence of the three arms of government, they say the process of lawmaking should be a joint effort by the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature so as to enact watertight laws capable of achieving their desired purpose and avoiding a repeat of the Carlos scenario. Let the legislators know that, yes, it's their job to make the laws. Yes, it's their job to respond to situations that call for attention. But that job could be better when they work hand in hand with the practitioners. Any time, any bill, any law, any policy of government, you know, is proposed, the lawmakers may well take a consultant from the judicial arm. If they do that, there's a possibility that such consultant will bring a judicial view to the proposed legal, you know, law. They also add that an amendment to some provisions of the nation's constitution is necessary to allow judges conclude matters in such a case. Amend the constitution for it to give the president of the court of appeal or any other authority to, to act in the manner that was done to what completes those cases and also to give room in any way, whatever they want to do, the constitution must have provisions to allow that. In Nigeria, as I speak to you today, our challenge actually is not about the fact that if our laws are good, it's about the fact that the laws we are are not being given enough effect. Our political class do not have enough political will to ensure that our laws are followed to the letter. And I believe strongly, if our laws are followed to the letter, Nigeria will be a better place. I mean, sanity will be returned to our society. Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.